Hi guys, so in a similar position to people like Lee Anderson and Jonathan Gullis, Jacob Rees-Mogg looks likely to lose his seat at the next general election and he's willing to insult all around him before the voters connect their boots to his eaten behind. Now in the run up to the referendum in 2016, Jacob Rees-Mogg was telling farmers based on a position of zero knowledge that things would be great post Brexit. British agriculture would flourish due to it being unshackled from EU red tape. The NFU, the National Farmers Union, was on the other side of the argument. It warned about the problems of a post-Brexit Britain where low quality products could flood the UK market, making it more difficult for British farmers to compete. Who was right? Well, when Jacob Rees-Mogg this week talked about how hormone treated beef from Australia was safe and tasty, the NFU called him out. Have a listen to his response to that. Well, I'll tell you who doesn't agree with you, uh, which won't come as a surprise, and that's Minette Batters, who is the head of the National Farming Union. Let's just show her tweet. Unbelievable from Jacob Rees-Mogg, an absolute desire to annihilate British agriculture, totally and utterly morally bankrupt. One thing's for certain, the Aussies would have deported him if he were representing them. Well, What's your message to her? Oh, this is absolutely... And she's representing farmers. Well, no, she's not. She's a well, complete protectionist, mm -hmm. and she doesn't represent farmers well. I was visiting farmers... Uh, who represents farmers well? Jacob Rees-Mogg? The guy who's thrown them under a bus? The guy who told them before the referendum that everything will be wonderful, what you need to do is vote to leave so you can be unshackled from European Union red tape. And now what's happening? Farmers can't get access to the workers they need. Some of their products are, of course, m more difficult to sell into the single market. Small producers are going to the wall. They, the funding that they used to rely on to keep themselves afloat is gone because it used to be European Union money coming in. The Tories had promised to, to copy that. They have delivered almost nothing of it. But the NFU doesn't represent farmers right. I was in my constituency last week. And the successful farmers in North East Somerset can compete globally because they are producing effectively and cheaply and economically and they're investing. Minette Batters and the NFU what they want to do is hold agriculture back in a protectionist um, fortress that means that you allow inefficient farming to carry on, you make it harder for the efficient farmers because they don't get the capital they want to invest. Protectionism hurts farmers and consumers. It puts prices up and it encourages inefficiency. What she is doing is a disservice to farming. Right, and when we have Minat Batters on, you we'll can put, put that those to comments her. to her. The Jake. NFU is a pure protectionist organisation. Jacob Rees-Mogg said that food prices would drop post-Brexit. And now he's saying that <laughs> uh, protectionist drives up prices for... Okay, anyway. <sighs> this is a guy who told people back in 2016 that things would be better. If we leave the European Union, farmers would thrive. They would be able to sell their goods, in, still sell their goods into the single market. There wouldn't be a problem. Remember, they need us more than we need them. But when he talks here about efficiency, he's talking about factory farming. And Liz Webster, who uh, represents Save British Food, we were speaking to her on the Sunday Roast a few weeks back, and she explained it to me. She said, you know, this is the, this is the way things are going to go. If British farming isn't protected, it's going to become factory farming. And a factory farm in England or in the United Kingdom can't compete with a factory farm in Australia. The massive farms in Australia means that the, the price of the beef is much lower when, when it's been exported. And the UK can compete with that. The, the reason we, why we have protections for industries in the European Union is, to, is because if, they were, if it was just a free market, then these businesses would die. They wouldn't be able to survive. They wouldn't be able to compete. And if you want to have high standards, you need to support those businesses. If you just want a race to the bottom, which the Brexiteers want, then they're doing, doing it the right way. So when Jacob Rees-Mogg talks about efficiency, it's about reducing cost, it's about lowering standards, and a race to the bottom. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.